Good morning, guys. Uh, Christmas season is upon us, so we come down to the Canal Centre, where it's the Designers Christmas Craft Fair. And uh, this is kind of the first Christmas fair we're going to film so far. Um, and it's really Christmassy, and I'm pretty excited. This is a great event. I mean, you there's coffee and stuff at the back, so you can come, sit down, relax, and then you can hit all the vendors up. And there's, there's a wide range of things here, from like art to food products to handmade things to you know different crafts. And there's a showcase about to happen. Like this is a really, really great event. And I wish I knew about this sooner, so I could tell more people about it. this. is amazing. So I just spent some time with Ray, he's a toy maker from Lunenburg, he's the guy who has all those really cool um, machined and handmade um, toys, they're all wooden. Uh, they're not just for kids, for adults too. What a cool guy, and he, he, you can tell he's really passionate about that, he's the only toy maker here. And he's got some pieces that are collectible to do with some of the Navy ships that you commissioned to make. And it's just another cool way of seeing someone that has something that they make purely by hand. It's locally made, locally sold. And that's what my Halifax is all about. It's about supporting people like that because those are people that have like such strong inroads in our community and they make our community so great. I just had the best time with uh, the people from Tangle Garden. Their company, they sell liqueurs, vinaigrettes, jams, a lot of condiments, a lot of stuff that's very, very tasty. Um, they are super passionate about what they do. They actually have a tea garden as well, down in, I think it's just saying around Grand Prairie, where you can go and you can have tea and champagne in the garden. It seems very, very um, sophisticated and very civilized. And I definitely want to go and I'm planning to make my Halifax there in the summer. Um, but what a cool group of people. And again, just another great company with a great product. And again, locally made. So as you guys know, anything to do with food, I am all about. And I mean, that's how the Tango Garden was, was, was like such a good place to go to because you know, a place like that, they were teaching us about the condiments, they were teaching us about the jams and what they go with. And I like the education side of it, but I also like the eating. And as we walked in, the first place we ended up walking past was a place called Jill's Chocolates. And they had the nicest uh, salted caramel chocolates that I've had, like, ever. So we went back and we bought some. And while we were there, we actually spoke to Jill, uh, the founder of the company. And she has a really great story, and she was really cool. And she went on camera, and this is her story. So over 12 years ago, I um, had just come back from spending a year and a half in Japan. And I met my now husband, and we went on a vacation to Disney and I bought a box of chocolates for my parents and I think I bought that box of chocolates because the Japanese love to give food as a souvenir this beautifully packaged but the package I bought from Disney was Disney themed little Mickey and mini shapes and within days of coming home and giving it to my parents I had a vision of this Nova Scotia themed box maple sea salt cabbage trail and little lobster shapes could not shake the idea so within days I literally typed into Google how do you make chocolate and I found an online school and from there I started. I kept this idea a secret for years. I built the business on all things not Nova Scotian. I used green and purple colors, uh, peanut butter, toasted coconut, pistachio, cookies and cream. And uh, about five years ago, I really nailed my sea salt caramel recipe. And I put a Cape Breton Fiddle Tune silk screen on the top, and people went nuts for it. And I was off to the races. So slowly but surely, I put it together. I made a maple caramel and a Glen Breton caramel. And yeah, and it's been very successful the past five years. So that's the end of this week's My Halifax. This has been a really great event. Uh, it was actually quite busy, so a lot of the vendors that we spoke to weren't actually available to come and help us. And some people didn't want to go on camera, which we totally get. But the products and the service and the knowledge and the fun speak to itself. This has been a great event. Um, I hope some of you came and saw it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And I hope many of you actually come and check it out next year, because like I say, it's been a great event. And there's lots of local people. Um, some of them are in Nova Scotia or just outside um, Halifax itself. But it's still great to support anything that's local made in Nova Scotia. So thank you for watching. If there's any way you think we should make a video, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for liking and commenting on this video and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we will see you next week. And another place that we went to was a place called Jill's Chocolates. And the best thing about it is you're gonna have to edit this, oh my God.
<laughs> it's okay. The, the, the world is falling apart.